I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you some of my collection. Now somebody asked me about this months ago and because of the lockdown obviously I have been, my brain has been going overboard with ideas um, and this is a brilliant one. So today we are delving into the depths of my Nocturne Ellie cupboard. Ooh. But the bottom where it's closed. You're going to be seeing what's in there for the first time. No, let's celebrate. I thought my t-shirt was appropriate. It is the um, three unforgivable curses. Look at those. I love this t-shirt. I've had to fight Daniel for it because he keeps pinching my t-shirts. Hmm. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> okay, so here is underneath my Borgen and Burke's cabinet for you to see. I'm just double checking that I am in focus. <laughs> After last time, I'm petrified. So in here is my mug collection. Ta -da! We have a cupboard full, so I'm just gonna go through it as quickly as I can because there's a lot in here. This bottle of wine, this isn't a mug, but this bottle of wine was given to me as a gift when I did a Harry Potter book event for a, uh, a Scouts group, I think it was, Cub Scouts. And uh, it was amazing because the two boys, there was twins in there, and the twins that I actually did the um, Harry Potter event for, as well as obviously a load of other children, um, were the who they played Harry Potter in Deathly Hallows Part Two? Um, the boy that you see obviously crying, and you see Severus um, go in and see, and then obviously he sees Lily dead on the floor. Those two boys live near me, so it's amazing. So obviously they played um, the twins played Harry or a, a set of twins played Harry, um, and the mother was telling me that uh, it was really sad because. Um, they actually got scarlet fever and one of the boys threw up all over Alan Rickman. Oh, bless him. But um, they gave me this Patronus bottle as a thank you. Isn't that beautiful? It's a long-winded story, but isn't that absolutely beautiful? It's red wine. Now, I don't drink red wine, um, but I'm not opening this or getting rid of this for anything. I love it. Excuse the, excuse the red glow. It's my spotlight. This isn't Harry Potter, but it has to be included. Um, it is an Aladdin's teapot lamp from Primark. It's an official piece of merchandise and it's got Aladdin written on there and obviously Disney stamped under there. But how cool is that? So again, not Harry Potter, but it's going in the cupboard. Now we have things like a cauldron mug from Primark. Again, what I love about Primark is it's all official. Uh, this Fantastic Beast mug changes colour when you put the hot water in. This is a Christmas present from my brother Chris. We have a bottle of real pumpkin juice from the Wizarding World in Florida. I didn't get this myself. My Auntie Carol got it for me when she took her granddaughters. Um, this is a Ravenclaw scented candle. <laughs> I can't tell you what it smells like, but it's weird. Again, from Primark, but how lovely is that? I love Primark. Obviously, they're closed at the moment. Uh, this is a Quidditch um, candle. I think it's meant to be a freshly cut pitch, it's called, but it is a Quidditch candle from Game. Oh, oof, ugh. That's, they're, they're not wrong, it does smell like grass. Um, you can actually still buy these from places like Amazon keep touching the screen just to double check that I am uh, still in focus. So we have lots and lots of official stuff in here. Uh, this is from Paladone and it is a plastic thermos mug. I love it. It's so gorgeous. 
I've never done a video on my mug collection ever. This is sparkling water from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour uh, from the Forbidden Forest. It's been sucked in because all the gas is obviously sucked the bottle in, but I had to get one. This is a bottle of Gillyweed water. Now what I loved about the uh, Wizarding World in Florida is that when you bought these, you actually bought um, little flavourings to go in with them. I think they're probably in here somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure, but the, you could get these and they were absolutely brilliant. This has obviously been opened, but I filled it up again. Had to do that. Another thermos mug. I'm not sure where this is. I get this is Pyramid International, but another thermos mug just there. I keep looking at the top screen to see if I'm in focus. We have another Ravenclaw candle just here. That doesn't smell too bad. It's not something I would burn personally, but uh, it's it's fairly, fairly nice. It's fairly nice. I need to keep all the candles together, really. This goes on top of a candle. I can't remember what they're called. Now, Yankee candle, that's it. On top of the Yankee candle. It's a Christmas ornament. Oh, hang on. I can feel something on top of these mugs. Uh, it's a saucer. I've got to find the, the bottom of that. We've got, an, I think, oh yeah, this is official, sorry. I think this is from Primark, this hag, this uh, Hogwarts mug. I don't, I, I mean, I'm a massive coffee drinker, but I have one mug that I drink out of. And that's the mug that Harry bought me um, a few years ago. So thank you for taking to the studios. It's the Ravenclaw mug. It's huge, but it's the only mug I drink out of. This is lovely. This is from Target in America. I bought this when we went out there. It's a Harry Potter thermos cup but it's covered in all the spells. It's really, really lovely. I don't know if you can get them over here. I don't think you can. And then we have a Daily Profit uh, cup. I think this might have been from Primark, yes. Yeah. So this is from Primark, five pound. It's really, really lovely, but again, I like collecting them, but I don't use them. Now, in here, we have another... Oh, this was from Loot Crate. This is one of the reasons why I stopped, I stopped subscribing to Loot Crate. When I got this mug, uh, in Loot Crate, it was at, it's, it's a, what is it? It's a Kelpie on the glass, right? It's really lovely, but when I got this, it was filthy. It looked like somebody dipped it in a muddy pond. It was really, in a muddy puddle. It was really, really gross. It's realistic to what it was, but I was not impressed. And that was when Geek, a uh, Geek Gear, sorry, that was when Loot Crate were going really downhill after that I left. I, it was such an expensive subscription box that I just, I gave up. I'm sticking to Geek Gear and for now, Hagrid's trunk, depending on how well they do. Okay, here we have another Hogwarts mug there. Not sure who it's by, but it's an official item. I'm not sure who it's by, there's no maker's mark on it. I love this. I'm not a big glitzy mug person, but I got it anyway. It is a golden snitch mug. I'm a catch, it says on the side there. That's really cool. But look how beautiful and shiny that is. Again, it's not something I would use personally, but I really liked it, so I had to get it. That's by Pyramid International. Again, another glitzy mug. Well, this is a cool mug. This is a, when you, it says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Um, and it's got Harry Potter on the side there. This is actually a thermal changing mug. So when you obviously put hot water in, it changes. I think it's like the Marauders map around it. So it's really nice. But again, I can't remember. That's the sort of mug that I would use personally. But it's, again, this, I, I'm sticking to the one that Harry bought me. Because, you know me, my OCD. I don't like change. <laughs> I'm really weird. This is a nice mug. But again, I've never used it. I have a lot of mugs. This is a Seeker mug. How lovely is that? It's got, obviously got the golden snitch on it and it's 3D, so obviously you've got the pattern on the inside of the mug there. But it's really, really lovely. I think that was about £10. Who's it by? Oh, Half Moon Bay this is by. I think I got sent this in a box by them because they sent me a load of little bits to unbox for them. And this was in a back to school box, which I really, really loved. And they sent me some fantastic pads and stuff. Uh, Half Moon Bay have got some amazing items. They never used to sell them individually. They used to only sell to merchants um, within different shops, but they sell individually now. Right, we have a Harry Potter Bertie Bots Every Flavour Bean cookie jar. And it says around the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone at the back. You can see that there. Um, it's empty. So it's got a few little bits of Lego inside it, but it is empty. But it's very heavy. I actually thought there was something in it then because it's so heavy. It's a really lovely um, cookie jar though. 
Although for the size of it, I don't think you'd be able to fit many cookies in it. So here we have a Hagrid's mug. Now Adam bought me this last year. It is absolutely massive. Look at the size of that compared to a normal standard mug. Look at the size difference. This is definitely a Hagrid mug, isn't it? But this is beautiful. This is a very old mug, this is. This is based on the book design. Um, it says eight pounds, I think Adam bought it for. I think he might not have paid much for it at all. And it's got a, I think it's meant to be a Welsh green on the side there, but I don't know because it's green, but it does look, could be a Hungarian horn tail as well. So I'm not 100% sure, but it's so lovely. You've got Ron, Harry and Hermione. Oh, that's Norbert. And you've got Norbert cracking out of his egg there. So that is by, that's by Archer Barn AG. So it's obviously an official item. And then obviously it comes boxed as well, which is really nice. This is so cute. This one is so, that is so cute. Uh. I'm going to have fun putting all these back, and I I love this mug. I wouldn't use it, though. Again, another reason why I don't use them is because I'm worried about breaking them. Look at that. <laughs> it's a Hikunifla. He's so good. I love him. He's so lovely. I love Nifflers. You know me. Nifflers and me. We're like, I love Nifflers. Absolutely love Nifflers. But aren't, uh, isn't he just so, so, so cute? He's gorgeous. And he is by Half Moon Bay. Now, if you do get mugs in a box and you are a serious collector, I seriously suggest that you do keep your boxes or keep the mugs in your box if you're not going to use the mugs only because the packaging is so important when it comes to collectors. If you want to sell your items later on, then it's good to have the packaging that you had the item in in the first place. This was an item, I think, from, it says Pyramid International, but I'm pretty sure I bought that from Target. It's another thermos mug, and it's covered in spells and things, and potion labels. So that's really, really pretty, that is. I love that. I've got loads of thermal mugs. This cup is from Primark. It is obviously the saucer from Professor Trelawney's uh, room and you could buy this. Oh no, this isn't from Primark. No, my mistake. Sorry, this is a copy of the cup and saucer from Trelawney's divinations class uh, when Harry, when uh, Ron tries to leave, ha read Harry's tea leaves. Um, this is a copy, I actually have an official one somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure where it is. I've got an official one. They sold them in Primark at one time. Now I've got a lovely Ravenclaw uh, official mug, which I really, really like. Oh, and I have a selection of little, little, little mugs here. So we have, this is a set of three. So we have Mischief Mad Managed Mug. These are little espresso mugs. I've got uh, Hogwarts Express, Express Platform 9 and 3 quarters, and the Expecto Patronum mug. And these are from Geek Gear. I've got Amortentia mug just there and I have a Polyjuice Potion mug just there. So I have those little dinky ones. Ickle, ickle, ickle dinky ones. These are beautiful, I have five of these. These mugs um, were released years ago. You had, to, I think it was through Tetley Tea, or it was through a, 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 some sort of collection uh, where you had to basically collect the stamps and then when you collected enough stamps, you got to send off and you had a set of six Harry Potter mugs. I have five. I've got four here, I think, and then one in my cupboard next door. Um, when uh, Adam's grandmother passed away, they lovingly gave me these mugs to look after, which I really, really, really love. I've got another one there. Another one there. They're all the same, but they are gorgeous. Now, just notice, this was the bottom of my little uh, Yankee candle stand there. And I've just noticed, I've got a load of Christmas decorations in here. So these are all from Primark, these decorations. I was actually looking for these the other day. So it's a good job I did do this. Um, these are, yeah, these are official as well. I've got He's a Catch and She, uh, He's a Keeper and She's a Catch mugs as well. I think they're from Primark. Um, I've got a Half Moon Bay Hogwarts mug there. I drank out of that all the time when I first got it. <coughs> And then I have the, obviously, She's the Catch there. 
I love this mug. I did use it a few times, but it's very, very, very big. Obviously, the I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Marauders map mug here. This was directly from the Warner Brothers studio. I bought it on my first ever visit. It's such a lovely, lovely mug, but it's absolutely huge. It's humongous. Such a good mug, though. I don't, oh, I was going to say, I don't think it's official, but it is official. Um, this is from Primark, I think. Don't let the muggles get you down. I think we need a lot of that at the moment, don't we, with this time of, uh, in this day in our lives. This, again, is from the Warner Brothers Studios. It is the Hogwarts Express mug. Again, a nice, big size, but a lovely, lovely mug. My floor is just filling up with mugs. Oh, and we've got another Christmas decoration there as well from Primark. I've got a bag of them behind me. I totally forgot about them. Uh, this one's a really, really nice one. This is a, oh, it's a Wedgwood mug. Wow, okay. Uh, we have a Harry, Ron and Hermione mug here. Again, it's an official item. But how beautiful is that? I was given that by my friend just before the Guinness World Record. Um, so that was a really lovely gift to have. Got my uh, Gryffindor mug. I've got the set the mug the bowl and the plate and the side plate i really need to give it to janice really because she's the gryffindor in the ha in in the family not me this one's lovely adam uh, <laughs> uh in, in work um this mug was there for so long and it was never used and he actually asked anybody who it belonged to and nobody had a clue they thought it was somebody who used to work there um, and he bought it home for me, <laughs> look at that. He did check first, love him, and nobody said that it was theirs. So, but how beautiful is that mug? It went to a good home in the end. I have another Christmas decoration there by Primark, nice silver one. Oh, this is so cool. This is a Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Coca-Cola glass. It's so beautiful. This They were released as a set of six, I think. Um, and obviously they had Coke in them. It was just around the Chamber of Secrets back in 2002. Um, yeah, 2002 it says there. Unfortunately, when this was sent to me, somebody had taken the top off and emptied the Coke out. I wasn't that happy, but I still love the bottle. They're still highly collectible. This is cute. This is from... Uh, I'm checking to see if there's any spiders. Uh, this is from Primark. How lovely is that a Hedwig mug? She's so pretty. She's so pretty. And I do keep calling her a he. And I'm really sorry. I think it's because I always think that things are a he. I don't know why, even though my cat is a she. Our rabbit is a he. Our fish, I have no idea. Uh, a he or a she. But uh, Hedwig, bless her, isn't she beautiful? <coughs> I have another Ravenclaw mug exactly the same as well. So I'm not quite sure how I managed to get two. I think I probably had it as a gift. Um, this is a cool one. Don't let the muggles get you down. Like I do, I think I have drunk out of all of these mugs at least once. I kind of like, um, I christen them if you like, or welcome them to home by, uh, by drinking out of them just once. So this one I definitely drank out of because I used to drink tea and uh, sweet tea, uh, not sweet tea, fruit tea out of that one. This one is so cool. Obviously, it's a love potion mug there. I love the colours of it. So beautiful. I think, didn't Geek Gear give one away once? I'd already had one, so I gave it away in a competition. I think the lady who won it was in uh, Austri Australia. Because I sent it really late and I gave her a load of Gringotts coins as an apology. This one's cool. Um, this one is, this I bought uh, at the Warner Brothers studio, again, on my first visit, a cauldron mug. I used to drink out of this a lot as well. I do love my coffee, I do. I drink lots of coffee. And then we're coming to the last item. For some reason, we have a little Nessie in here. <laughs> when I went up to uh, Scotland, we went right up to the top in Inverness and we ended up going to Loch Ness and I bought him as a little Christmas decoration. He's so cute. And I've got some other bits in here. Oh, it's the top of McGonagall's wand. I've been looking for that. I let, um, when I did a, a kids event, I let some children play with a load of wands and they broke the top of McGonagall's wand. They told me they had, so it was okay. And mistakes happen, accidents do happen, but I've been meaning to stick it back. So I've got it now. But this one's cool. This one was actually given to me as a gift. Somebody painted it by themselves. That was probably one of the best looking ones I think I've ever seen. But this is not an official item. My Primark one is probably upstairs in the attic and a big box of all the other bits. 
So that's it. That's my mug collection that's underneath my cabinet. So I have some really amazing items going in this cabinet very, very very soon um so soon in fact i'm hoping it may even be the beginning of may um well there's one of the items that's going in there before then but another item is hopefully going in around the beginning of may but i don't know for definite but i'm i'm very excited to be sharing it with you i'm not going to tell you anything more all i'm going to say is that my cabinet is going to start to have to get bigger soon because I'm getting more and more stuff to go in my Nocturne Alley. And of course you see my new Nocturne Alley sign, which is so cool. I think I said that I paid, I paid 354. I didn't. When I double checked, because somebody asked me, could I send them the link to where I bought it from? So of course I did, because I'm more than happy to help people. And I sent them it. I saw the size and the price of it. It was 549. But for the, the sign is so nice. It's metal, it's beautifully made, and it looks so good that I would have paid six pounds, seven pounds, eight pounds for it, but it's so, so good. And also regarding my post, I posted up saying, that if there's ever anything that you guys have seen in any of my videos, um, whether it be something I'm advertising or whether you see something in the background um, as long as you remind me what it is because obviously some of the videos people are pointing out are stuff that I've done a long time ago and I can't remember in the videos I will do everything in my power to help you if that's what you're looking for or you even want advice on how to do it yourself because part of my job um, part of my passion is actually bringing Hogwarts to you. So if I can help you bring Hogwarts to you in your own home, then I will do everything in my power to do that. I had somebody message me earlier about an item that they couldn't find anywhere and I found it in about 30 seconds. So I sent them the link straight away and told them exactly how if I was to get it, that's how they should go for it. Um, and they're really grateful. I really hope that they did get it because I, I'm, I'm anxious for them. I want to know if they've got it or not. But yeah, if there's ever anything, I don't mind people copying me because um, copying, imitation, um, having something that's similar to what I've got, I find it such a compliment because I'm clearly doing a good job. I'm clearly doing something that you guys want to create yourselves. Um, and that for me is more means more to me than anything. So I have no objection to people, you know, even if they want to build a, a you know, knocked an alley in their home or they want to do the same kind of displays on my shelves um do anything uh, anything at all i have got or buy the same items i'm buying that's the whole point of being a content creator a digital creator i want to create those things for you i want to help you this is why i do diy videos now this is why when i've got something new i will do everything in my power to put the links down below so you guys can get them too um that's the whole point of my job, is so I bring Hogwarts to you at home as well, to create yourself. If you don't want to create, your, create it yourself, or you can't create it yourself, then I want to show you what you can create if and when you're able to. So yeah, I'm mumbling on now, I'm just jabbering on, but I really want to say that because I think it's really important that people understand I'm not that kind of YouTuber. Um, I want people to imitate, I want people to copy, I want people to do similar things to me because I've inspired them to do that. But I, I, I really want to show you and help you do it yourselves. So as I've said to you, I'm redoing my shelves at the moment and I really want to show you what I'm doing, but we're still very much in the middle of doing it. They look complete at the moment. I'm not still not showing you. Um, they look complete at the moment, but they're not. They're still, I'm just doing it because it looks tidier, but there is still so much to be done. I can't wait to show you because it's gonna look really, really good when it's finished. But I just want you guys to know that that is why I am here, to help bring Hogwarts to you too. So don't forget that, okay? Remember I do it because I love you guys. I love you all. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And so you don't miss any more of my videos, hit the notification bell as well. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Press the like button, the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon.